Welcome to Pro Upcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, May 10th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by American Retirement Systems, providing competitive solutions for agents and advisors. For more information, visit www.americanretirementsystems.com. Now for today's headlines. Amid the European Union this morning announcing the approval of a $900 billion bailout for Greece, the price per barrel for oil rose more than 3% to a figure of $77.68. In fact, the cost of crude for June delivery this morning climbed $2.57, or 3.42% on the New York Mercantile Exchange. Meanwhile, reports also indicate that gasoline prices fell for the fourth consecutive day, having dipped to nearly $2.908 a gallon from $2.914 the day previous. In regulatory news, as a result of having lost $11.5 billion in the first quarter of 2010, the 12th consecutive quarterly loss, Fannie Mae today requested an additional $8.4 billion from the government in an effort to stay afloat. Fannie Mae also paid a $1.5 billion dividend to the Treasury, which received stock after the government took it over in September 2008. Finally, this request comes just four days after Freddie Mac asked for emergency funds of about $10.6 billion after having posted an $8 billion quarterly loss. In investment news, the Department of Labor and the Securities and Exchange Commission last week issued an investor bulletin on target date funds. This guidance intends to help investors better understand the operations and risks of target date funds, as well as the significant differences in asset allocations and glide paths over time. The bulletin also suggests ways an investor can evaluate a target date fund and directs investors to examine the prospectus for information on performance objective risk levels and fees. I'm Sarah Fletcher and thanks for watching ProUpcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.